Hey there, my name is Rohit Kumar and today we are going to discuss another very important data set that is glue. So glue and super glue are available for your reference and uh, as you can see that the related links with respect to the papers, codes, or tasks, and the laser board, packs, diagnostic, etc. are also provided. Then the New York University ML Square, UW NLP documents are also associated with this particular data set. Then GLUE stands for the General Language Understanding Evaluation, which is a kind of benchmark and it's a collection of resources for training evaluation, analyzing uh, the sort of natural language and then understanding the underlying systems. So if in short we say then GLUE is a combination of benchmarks of nine sentences or the sentence pair language understanding tasks built on the established existing data sets. Then a diagnostic data set uh, designed to evaluate and analyze the model performance and a public ledger board for testing the performance of the benchmark. So in this way, you can have a basic understanding that uh, the glue is used for the text uh, based processing or the sort of analysis. And if you are working on a similar sort of project, then you can go and have a similar sort of idea. So as I have already told you that uh, the modality of this particular data set uh, is text and there are uh, numerous uh, kind of activities that you can uh, do or perform. Uh, so some of the common tasks that you can do with respect to that this particular data set is uh, that uh, if you are interested in text classification sort of activities, then you can go and have a sort of a text classification or kind of clustering sort of activities. Additionally, if you want to have sort of some natural language processing related, like if you want to draw some inference from the text or the pool of text, then some natural language inference drawing system that you can work on. Additionally, some semantic textual similarity based work mechanism, if you want to work on, then you can work on the similar sort of aspect. Additionally, the semantic analysis, etc., can also be performed. So, point is that uh, lots of works have already been in practice, and lots of researchers have already made use of this particular data set. Why it is so important for you? And if you are a very new researcher or a person in the field of uh, text uh, mining or the sort of analysis, or these sort of practices are very fresh for you, then you can have uh, the basic intro of the existing literature and I will recommend you to go to Google Scholar and have some of the related articles which have made use of this particular data set. So I'm going to tell you some of the data, some of the paper works and the links are also provided. So uh, one of the popular work is improving language understanding by generative pre-training and it used this particular data set. Additionally, the pre-trained summarization distillation is the another work. Third one is uh, the BART, uh, which is a technique name, and uh, denoising sequence to sequence, pre-training for natural language generation, translation, and comprehension. So in this way, these are just uh, two, three works that I have decided. But uh, if you want to get into more details, if you want to have a basic understanding of natural language processing, text classification, or the sort of mining, then you can go to Google Scholar or some sort of related search engine where you can have the academic or the scholar articles. And then you can download them according to your interest to make a fresh base. You can have some survey or the tutorials. And if you directly want to jump up onto the practical aspects, then you can go to any of the work that have used the uh, text data sets or this particular data set in particular. Okay, so I think you have had a basic idea that what sort of thing uh, are possible with this particular data sets and uh, what you can do. So if you click on this paper link, then you will have the paper, the original paper of Blue also. So here you can see a multitasking benchmark and the analysis platform for natural language understanding is given here. Alex Young is the main author over here and there are some other. Okay, then uh, some of the related links with respect to this particular. So if you want to have the sort of code, so here you can go, the GitHub repository is listed down here then the tasks so you go and have the name of different tasks so here the purpose of linguistic acceptability then the stanford sentiment tree bank the microsoft research paraphrase corpus uh, semantic textual similarity benchmark and sort of multiple other tasks are listed down here so here you can download all these and you can have the sort of metric related information then the ledger board facts uh, diagnostic related uh, informations are also provided and if you are interested more then you can go and have a check on to the individual uh, menu 
So it's a taking bit time. So you can go and have a look by yourself. I leave it to you. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And if uh, you didn't like anything or you do think that uh, the some of the analysis were not correct, then please let me know. I will try to incorporate uh, some of the things uh, in my uh, next videos for better analysis. And uh, uh, thanks for watching again. Shut up.